All right, everybody, how's it going? Uh, at popular request on the subreddit, I'm going to make a video on this Division 2 fix for a lot of possible issues that I've been running into personally, and I'm sure it's helped a lot of other people on the subreddit and in game. Uh, a lot of people told me this helped them a lot. It's not going to fix every problem, but a uh, majority of the issues I think it's going to help a lot with. Um, my history behind it is I've been playing Division 2 since, you know, day one release, and we all know it has bugs and its problems and memory leaks and random crashes and screen freezes and uh, server connection issues. It's just buggy as shit program. Um, I'm also a network systems engineer, so I've been doing this kind of stuff for a long time, and I decided to apply some of that knowledge to use here in the game. So I've tried other fixes before. I tried the you know, V-Sync and D-Sync changes, the full screen to um, window mode. I tried turning off the third-party options. I tried, you know, tons of different settings, optimizations, everything I could find online. It literally nothing worked. For me, about every hour, the screen would just freeze, lock up, and then I couldn't do anything. Uh, the error I was getting, if you go to the event log manager... One second here while it loads. Uh, let's see, I should say app hang. Uh, that's not it. There. Division2.exe has stopped interacting with Windows and was closed. Okay, great error. Stopped interacting with Windows. The program decided, I'm done. I'm just not interacting with Windows anymore. Well, on looking at this code and these errors and my history with other apps, I decided to go on to a more aggressive method of resolution. Because obviously, Ubisoft's not going to fix this problem because this has been around since day one. And tons of people have this issue. If you just Google... Um, the division2.exe stopped interacting with Windows. You'll see forum post after forum post on Ubisoft's forums about this issue and no fix. So now what I did to fix that is this. This is the, the thread post I created on the issue. You can see here I talk about how I've been crashing. I tried moving from an Intel system to an AMD system or a AMD to Intel system. Trading out my graphics card, PSU, I literally got a whole new system. And I was still receiving this problem. Uh, Googled all the fixes, tried all these things, nothing worked. I've been having this problem for years. So I decided to break it down and figure out a solution. So this is what I figured out. You want to pull up exploit protection. So if you go here and you go to settings, if you just type uh, Exploit protection, that should come up. All right, now, some of the subredditors and other people said what worked for them was going here and turning this off. I would not do that. This turns it off for the whole entire system. This is a very good security measure to have in a system you don't want to turn it off for everything. Turn it, we only want to turn it off for Division 2. It's the only game having problems, is the only game that this workaround I've seen even had to be applied to fix the problem in the first place because the game's programmed like shit. So if you go here and you hit add a uh, customization, you want to choose the exact file path. You can see here mine goes to my D drive. That's where I have Ubisoft games installed. And you want to do it for each one of these three. So let's just start with the uh, EA launcher or EAC launcher. What you want to do is turn on every single one of these. See how this is on? Turn it off. All these, you want the override on. So this overrides the default global setting. And then you want to go here and turn it off for every single one of these. By doing this, you're overriding the game. So when it's exploiting memory or it's doing something it's not supposed to do, Windows won't consider it an exploit and it will fix 
or I'll allow it to go through without crashing the game. And then hit apply. Now do this for the other two. I already have it in here somewhere. Let's see, where is it? Right here, Division 2 and the Division 2 launcher. So do it for all three. Save and then close out of the program. I just want to check these to make sure no other settings are turned back on. But see how all of them are off? Off, 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 off. Let's check this one. All these are off. And that's it. You don't need to reboot your computer or anything. You just need to close the game and relaunch it. And it will relaunch it with these exclusions. This worked for me. I've been going for like seven days without a crash. The only crash you saw in the event log was because I went back in here for testing reasons. And I removed these. I removed all these exceptions and tried it. And then like within an hour, I crashed again. That's what that error log it was showing. But uh, before that, I didn't crash for like six or seven days straight. And that's a huge improvement. Even if I only crashed once in seven days uh, compared to crashing every hour, that's a big difference. So this brings up some concerning points, which is one, why is this game program so shitly that it needs to have exclusions and exploit protection for Windows because it was programmed so bad? Like Ubisoft, that's not okay. You guys need to get on the ball and fix this. This is not acceptable at all. I don't have to do this with any other game. Everything works fine. It's only Division 2. So you can say it's my computer all you want, but as a network systems engineer, I can tell you it's not. I've been doing this for a long time, and I can tell you right now that when this fixes the problem, something the application is doing is doing something it shouldn't be doing. So fix your game. Anyways, I hope this works for other people too, if not even just a small player base, if it can work for... A couple people that's better than you know waiting for Ubisoft to do nothing about it. So good luck and I'll see you guys in game.